Hello, my name is John Elder and I work for CAS Service. The purpose of this video is to show you how to wire a micro switch from an Ansel Ottoman to our hood control package. Remember to follow all safe work practices including the use of PPE. The first step is to turn off all sources of power to our control package. Remember that there are several sources of power feeding into our package. You have a 120 volt control circuit and three phase power coming into your VFDs as well as load power going out from the VFDs. Remember, once you turn off power, you have to wait until the displays on the VFDs go blank before you can work in the package safely. The next step is to locate C1 AR1 terminals in the control package. These are the terminals where the wires from the micro switch are going to land. Next is to wire from terminal C1 to the common terminal on the micro switch, and then from the normally closed terminal on the micro switch back to the AR1 terminal. This wiring configuration will make the hood package operate normally until the Ansel SIP system is triggered, which will in turn operate the micro switch. Operating the switch will open the C1 AR1 circuit and put the control package into fire. The last step is to restore all your power and to test the operation of the system. So now I'm going to demonstrate what happens when the hood is turned off and the Ansel system is activated. The ANSYS system will be activated and it will trigger operating the micro switch. We're going to use our demo switch here to demonstrate this. If we operate the switch, what you'll notice is the exhaust fans, the VFDs for the exhaust fans, will start to ramp up. These will continue to ramp up until they reach full speed. Also note that the supply VFD remains stopped during this time. The hood package will remain in the fire mode as long as the Ansel system is fired. Once the Ansel system is reset, it's going to return the micro switch to the normal position, closing C1 and AR1, and thereby returning the hood back to normal operation, or in this case, the off position. So now we're going to look at it again with the hood turned on. If you notice, all three of my VFDs are running at 48 Hz. My two exhaust VFDs on the left and my supply VFD on the right. And my lighting relay is energized, meaning my hood lights would be turned on at this point. So if the Ansel system gets triggered, the Ansel system is going to operate the micro switch. And what's going to happen is your supply VFD will go to stop. My exhaust VFDs will ramp up to full speed. And my lighting relay will be de-energized or turning off my hood lights. The control package will also energize the ST terminal with 120 volts to trip your shunt trip breakers and if there's an electric gas solenoid that will be de-energized. Now once the Ansel system is reset the micro switch will go back to its normal position closing C1 to AR1 and the control package will go back to its normal operating condition. Lights on, supply on, exhaust on. For further assistance you can contact us at one 866 784-6900 or email support at castservice.com.